we pray, we would like to say welcome to the move of God, Bible Way Deliverance Tabernacle, amen, where I will always see it is Apostle Brother Lane, he is the chief apostle for six, over six churches, we thank you for our elect woman, Sister Lane, we invite you in, praise God, to praise and to worship Jesus Christ, we give him praise, we give him honor. through the word of God. It teaches us how to walk right. It teaches us how to love right. It teaches us everything that we need to know. Amen. Amen. Don't you know that I'm your child? And I'm doing the best that I can. On this road to troubles and trials. Jesus, you're the best friend I Sometimes the road 
about that grave, he will not leave not one thing in that grave. Even the angel said, Why seek ye the living among the dead? We get stuff out of God. They will show you we get nothing out of Come on, somebody. I don't think that God will ever want us to go to that place. Talk to me, somebody. Even when Mary Martha and Mary Mother Mary got there, the Bible said that. Amen. The, 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 you know. The angel said, Why is he to deliver from the dead? He is not here. He did what he said. He's risen. Talk to me, somebody. He answered me. I don't think they went back there no more. He answered me because. Amen. There's no power in that. The power is in the Lord. And to the believers and those that know Christ, and I'm not trying to cut down on nobody. Christ in you, the Lord in you, God in you. You don't have to look up and talk to God. It's a place. It's a place. You know you're in that place. Even if you're not in that place, you can talk to Him. Talk to me, somebody. We say we say, we say we feel, but then we look somewhere else for Him. The man, I'll save you if you got the Holy Ghost. He lives in you. Yes, sir. Yeah. The man lives in you. The amazed are born on the inside of you. Amen. Talk to me, son. We seek him. We look to him. The Bible called him the ark that defends you by faith. Talk to me, son. Who is? And who was? Yeah. And who is to come?
Said in Luke John 3 and 2, beloved, now we the sons of God. And it does not yet appear what we should be. But when Christ shall appear, we should be just like him. All he need is the word. All he don't need here today is the word of God. That's all he need is the word. Thank you, Jesus. Lord gonna do this. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord gonna do this for Nobody do this for the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He told his disciples yes. that they had knew in this time day. This is your day. This is your day. This is your day. This is your day. Thank you, Jesus. This is your day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This is your day. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord gonna do this, okay? Amen. See, sometimes you have to just let things alone. Yes. I mean, see, God don't care if you sit in the front or the back. Oh, I do. On top of the house, I'm in the house. Are you listening to me? 
Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Lord. 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 The Bible said the stone. Oh, my God. That the bills rejected. Yes. The same became the head of the corner. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Are you listening to me? Yes. They rejected the stone. Yes. But still, mm. that didn't make the stone less than what it, it was. All right, this was the stone that was chipped all the way from the Lord. This stone came from heaven itself. Talk to somebody. He told Peter to Peter, upon this rock. And I've heard people preach it. And they said, Peter, God said you were the rock. But Peter wasn't the rock. He was telling Peter, Peter, upon this rock, upon this stone, I will build my church. Yes. And the gates of hell should not prevail against it. Talk to me somebody. Amen. I will build my church. Talk to me somebody. Amen. And the gates of hell shall not prevail yes. against it. Shall not prevail against it. I give you the keys. On. That's all I'm going to give you. I give you the keys to the kingdom. That whatever you buy here on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose it here on earth, it shall be loose in heaven. Talk to me, somebody. I give you the keys to do that. Talk to me, somebody. I give you the keys. But the stone, the rock, it's me. Yes, Talk to me, somebody. Huh? You be that rock. Yes. Listen to me. So what I'm saying to you, what we need to know is that God yes. loves us. Yes. And God has given unto us everything we need. Amen. Amen. We're walking around, but we can't see it. But I promise you, you got it. We're looking for success. We already got success. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a successful man. Amen. And you know what I mean? I'm not trouble because I'm coming because of God. A lot of times we have things, but we don't even know we got it. Come on. Somebody walk the rock, you and they ain't got no but a piece of card in your pocket. But a week you broke. That means they just, you just got a card. But you can use that card yeah. and get what you want to get off of it. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. It's now, but if you can't see that you can't put your hands on it. Yeah. But we love to see things and we love to feel things. Yeah. We love to hear about things. Yeah. But the Bible said things are temporal. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. They, they own it for a moment, yeah. for a time. Yeah. And things begin to. Wait, so I don't care if it's a brand new house. Jesus. The day that you crank that car but go in that house, if that house is have start, you can kill it. You appreciate it. It's going down whether you see it or not. Amen. Because these things are used to me. They are temporal. Amen. But I stop by to tell you right now. There ain't nothing too hard for God. Yes, See, God got things already pre yes. planned. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. You see me? Yes, Lord. When I look at me, I had no idea I would be here. A God would, would have saved me 40 years ago. Yes, Lord. I had no idea that God, amen, my life was going to shift the way it did. And listen to me, like an eagle that's in a nest. 
That old thing gonna keep it up there. That little baby eagle fell out the nest. Mama, eagle flew, flew. Y'all saw it. The eagle flew away from the nest, and uh, and as she was flying away, a foot hit the baby eagle. The baby eagle fell out the nest. Amen. Hallelujah. Mother eagle, mother eagle, the daddy eagle were gone for a long time. Yeah. But by they have, by, by them having that camera there, they knew the eagle, the little baby eagle, hanging on by a thread down there. Jesus. And they went up some kind of way and got up there, and they got that baby eagle and put it back in the nest. And they, the old saying is that when a person put their hands on a baby eagle, right. mother eagle don't want to fool them no more. Yeah. They got with them. But that camera showed that when uh, the eagle came back, she was glad to see her baby. Amen. Loved on her. Brought her food to eat. Brought her food to eat. Cup a little water up on my tongue. Gave her something to drink. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. And it's me. Amen. But the day will come. Jesus, hallelujah. There will be time for that baby eagle to leave that nest. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And hear me today, children of God. He's not going to leave on his own. Amen. Glory to God. That eagle is not going to leave on his own because that eagle is in a place of comfort. Amen. That eagle is in a place of comfort. Just like, oh, uh, I didn't want to grow up. Jesus. I won't always be Miss Hattie's boy. Hung around him. Amen. Mama kissed me all the time. Amen. I got up to be about seven, eight years old. I started telling my mama, don't kiss me when I come to the door. No, no, no. Wait till I get in the house. I was growing up a little bit, but I was a mama's boy. Amen. But I was messed up. The baby eagle depends upon yes, Jesus. somebody else to feed them. Amen. It, it depends upon. Just like a mother, you know, we know y'all raised them babies about goat milk and, mm -hmm. and you know, powder milk. Amen. But they're supposed to be raised upon the breast. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. And a mother gives the baby what it needs. And, yes, Lord. and then God knows how to make that baby let you know when it's time to wean that baby. Amen. Because some babies, you have to weed them quicker than other babies. Yeah. When that baby got a new one on your breast, with that little piece of teeth they got. Right. They got uh, they like a song. Then you know it's time to weed. Yes. By the ego, that baby is comfortable. Yeah. It stays right there. Amen. Come on. Amen. That mother make that it's so comfortable. Amen. It's so soft. Amen. But when it's time for that eagle, oh, yes. amen, to move away from that nest, uh -huh. she don't just push him out. Uh -huh. She removes some stuff. Amen. Then when he come back, he comes back and sit down where you should sit down at. Amen. It ain't comfortable no more. Amen. So then she move around to another spot. It ain't comfortable that no more. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. Now, she's dependent upon mother to feed her. Yes. So mother can fix it now when she can go feed herself. Yes. So she'll find a little of spot she squeeze it now. Because she don't do it all at once. Then that little baby eagle will be all right in that little spot, but it ain't really comfortable like it was. Then all of a sudden she come back and sit down again. Oh God, ain't no place here. And then that eagle begin to start on the rim of that nest. Because that don't feel good no more. Jesus. Sometimes God, yes. you don't know why your life is going the way it's going. I'm looking at your way. You don't know why, what, what, what was the real reason. Amen. Hey, you had to go to where you went. Amen. Elijah would have put in the club to the rock. And God fed him there three times a day. Amen. But the day came. Glory to God, Jesus. Come on, somebody, the raven quit coming. Are you listening to me? And the book dried up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Huh? Yes, you done had it good for three years and a half, but what you gonna do now? Oh. Talk to me, somebody. 
I tell you what he did, he got on his knees and thought about it. And then three years ago, I set it down, I set it up. You told me, and I got on my knees and I prayed, amen, hallelujah, until the heavens would not rain anymore. And the Bible said when he got down, he thought about that. And when that eagle, that the raven ain't bringing him nothing no more. And the water them put them dried up, and ain't no water come out the brook no more. And all of a sudden now, he realized, I got to do something. And the man, when he got on his knees, and he got on his knees like he did the first time. And he prayed like he prayed the first time. But how many know it did nothing happen? He got on there praying, nothing happened. Every time he prayed, nothing happened. But you can't stop. Sometimes you, see, see, as time goes, you got to grow. Amen. Sure enough, you got to press a little harder. So it wasn't long before. Amen. He got down that last time and he prayed. He told that boy, go tell me what you see. He came back. He said, man, I, I, I see a little cloud in the, in the sky about the size of a man's head. About the size of a man's fish. He said, man, he said, I tell you what, that's it. He knew. Amen. That little cloud. See, a little leaven, a leaven to hold up. Amen. Sure enough, God don't need but a little bit. All God needs you to do is get on your knees and pray just a little bit. And I promise you, God will meet you there. God will begin to raise you up. Are y'all with me? I feel the power of God this morning. Amen. As I begin to look back over my life, I'm not talking to nobody else. I had a miserable life. Amen. Looking at my brothers and my sisters doing things that I wanted to do. I desired to do, but couldn't do them. Just wanted to play basketball. I want to play football. I wanted to do the thing that they did, but I couldn't do it. Amen. But God had a plan for my life. I mean, this is the truth that I was mama's baby. And one day, baby mama had to get me out of the nest. It took a while for her to get me out of the nest. When I got my car, I still was in the nest. When I could be get me, get me a little cold, I still was in the nest. I stayed in the nest. Well, on the road, my God, I never dreamt that I would be preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want, I want to be a, a man that build cars, that build engines. I love to race cars. I love that was in my heart, and I love it. Amen. Every day, every chance I got, I was out there racing. But guess what happened? The tire that I was burning up, Amen. Miss had about him. So my God, tell me, baby, you running the tires up out the bottom too soon, too regular. So mama decided, amen, to put me, amen, to move, remove some stuff. Amen. I went to the last time I burned them up. She said, well, baby, you got to buy them yourself. And I found that and I saw that mama would go buy me the time. So I had to go buy my time. So I'm getting out on the, the rim of the, the nest now. And all of a sudden, I began to buy my time. And I went down and found. And I looked in my mirror and I saw the smoke. And I knew I was burning my tires up. Not even my eyes is coming open. I got to buy some more tires in a few more weeks. So guess what I did? I let up off of it. What I'm saying to you, children of God, hallelujah, I had no idea. You have to be pushed out. Amen. You don't know why you had to go through that hill that you went through. Amen. You don't know why, amen, hallelujah. But God had a plan, amen. And when you are doing them drugs, them drugs about to take you down and, and about to drive you crazy and running games after games after games. Amen, telling lies after lies after lies. Amen, y'all listen to me. Amen, all but all of a sudden God told a little man, amen, by the name of Brother Lane, the apostle. Amen, to go to Jacksonville, Florida. I want you to go down there. I got some people you'll see when they get down there. Come on, somebody. Amen, not knowing they, but I was going to meet that little woman sitting over there. Amen, are you going to become God? Man, I'm going to bring her from that place she was at. To bring her to the place she's at now. Come on, it didn't seem right at that moment. But guess what, true to God? Amen. God had a plan. Everything is being planned, be planned by God. Amen. You might think you're here because you just want to be here. But God got you here for a reason. Everything that's going on today is being able to become God for the day to today. Come on, I believe in the hallelujah. And we'll get the way God can have his way. I feel the power of God here. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the power of God. Come on, somebody, what it is. You don't want to get out the mess. Yeah. Amen, truly, you want me to do your praying for you. You want me to do your fasting for you. You want me to, my God, hallelujah. Amen, you want to do your read for you. But God told me to tell you, amen, you got to do this stuff yourself. It's time to feed yourself. It's time for you, amen, you understand what I'm saying? It's time for you to get your Bible down. It's time for you to pray like you've never prayed before. It's time for you, amen, God will show you what his will is for your life. Amen, truly, God, the devil, I've got a sign of a situation. Look like we can't make it, but I pray. You in Jesus' name, hallelujah. It was for a reason. God had to. God had to break a foot. God had to hit him in the heart. How to get him to that place now? Would you tell me, man, we can't give up on God now? 
Amen. God, amen. You wonder why all these things are happening. Amen. Turn to God. Amen. God knows exactly what it takes to humble you. God knows what it takes because God got a plan. He got a work for your life. Come on, somebody. You listen to me? So God allow, amen, things to happen. Amen. The killers, amen, in that place. Oh, it didn't feel good while it was going on. But guess what? I promise you, the Bible declares that it's going to work for your good. The Bible says it's going to work for the good of them that love the Lord. Because you love for God. Thank you. It's great. Thank it's going to work for your good. Thank you. Come on, somebody. Thank you. Hallelujah. Don't cancel, don't cancel. I blood that beat this. Amen. Amen. I thought that was the end of me. Amen. Talk to me, somebody. When we see these things, we think it's over with. When we see these things, because it done went from one part of the body. Man, it went through the body. But guess what? Look at my son. He don't love us. Amen. Love was not just brain dead. Love was kidney dead. He was gut dead. He was blood proper dead. He was lung dead. My God, how did he begin to rot and smell? Y'all don't hear me. But when Jesus got that, well, it's good that I was not that. Because I couldn't have took Mary crying the way she was crying. So I'm glad I was not there. Hallelujah. Amen. That, amen. You can know. Four days later, when God said Lazarus, come forth. I don't care what was going on with Lazarus. Lazarus had to. But the bar said to go. Come on, somebody. All the flies that had left their worms and left everything had to go. Why? Because now God, amen, hallelujah. Y'all don't hear me. Because now God, amen, had a plan. Amen, it was pretty planned that God had to raise Lazarus from the dead. Martha said, had you been here, my brother Lazarus would not have died. Talk to me, somebody. But Jesus said, he'll rise again. She said, yes, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. But Jesus said, Martha, I am the resurrection. Though a man be dead, yet shall he live again. And he that liveth and believeth in me shall never die. He said, when you believe what I'm saying, I stop by to tell you, amen, it's God. It has nothing to do with putting on the devil. Amen, it's God. Amen, God is trying to get our attention. God is trying to get us out of the day. God is trying to get us to the play. Told y'all last week, nothing just happened. Hallelujah. It don't just happen. It don't just happen. It don't just happen. Now you can now you can it's by choice now. It's by choice. You can walk you can walk against your choice. You can you can choose the wrong way to go. That way because I kind of got you messed up, Hollywood. But let me tell you something to the God. It's gonna work for your good. The all things works together for the good of them that love the Lord to do that are called according to the purpose. I want you to know some every demon in hell got to understand that I know who I am and I know whose I am. I belong I'm a child of the most high. I'm a child of the king. The greatest is he that sent me, that he that sent the world. When you realize what's living on the inside of you, somebody say, man, it's already been preordained. You already done made it. You ain't not done. God couldn't show you the end because had he showed you the end. Talk to me somebody. Had he showed you the end. It would have quit a long time ago. And you knew the trials and the testing that you had to go through with to get to where you were at. I mean, you have quit a long time ago. Hallelujah. If you knew, I mean, my God, the thing that was going to hurt you so bad, and I mean, truth of God, you don't want another way. You would quit because you wouldn't want to go through that. But I mean, he knows the end. We don't know the end. He knows the end. The Bible said the end has already been declared, and he declared the end at the beginning. Meaning, I mean, truth of God, it's already been prefixed. It's already been prepared. So you got to make up your mind whose side you own. You got to make up your mind, make up your mind, and the way you're going to walk. And the truth, you can talk your talk, and you can talk that mess, but God doesn't have every word you say. If your words ain't peaceful words, if your words ain't words of encouragement, maybe you better watch your words, because your words, every word you speak out of your mouth, it's going to come back and face you one day. Somebody said, every hour word that you speak out of your mouth, coming back again, you'll face it one day. The Bible says you're good, got to outweigh your bad. Come on, somebody. Well, God already had things already been planned. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, when you were gone, that you didn't see none of this since a second. You had no idea this was coming. You had no idea that you would be somewhere up in Alabama, a little place called Talladega, Alabama, and I'm praising and worshiping the Lord, sitting in a, 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 in a ministry. Man, wow, you teaching Bible school, and, 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 and the Lord been turned your whole life around, and you had no 
deal to God. And the brothers took that more idea that God was going to save the drug dealer. And the church of God, he wanted to go how much me and you. We went into the project area. We went in there and won so many souls. So you said, I can do that. And you tried it. They told them to the calling. Pretending to be in the spirit. Amen. They don't even know what they're doing. But anyway, he laughed at her. Amen. I came out with that. How are you? I don't know how to get to this woman. I don't know, Lord. You got to. <laughs> By that time, Sister Duggo called. Sister Jones, at that time, she called. Wait, she said, I got a call from, from, uh, Miss Azaria. Then we'll see. Go through now, man. She didn't talk to you. I heard Terry said, Mama, it's Brother Lane. I saw I missed that step. She caught the third step. She missed that next step, and she caught the fourth step. Because she had a steep step, but she didn't fall. She hit that door, broke out through that door, man, in my arms, and I connected them for a few minutes, a few seconds, maybe about 15, 20, maybe 30 seconds, and I pushed away from me, and I began to cast that spirit off God. What my God, hallelujah, that's been, I don't know how many years ago, that's been a lot of years. I was back in the 80s when I did that. Come on, somebody. Amen. Now, amen. See, you the, the, the plan of God is not your plan. See, God, we got to work our way to the plan. And we got to pray that God shows his plan. We got to God, we got to pray that God can show us his will. And when God shows his will, then we walk into the will. She had no idea that she would be here. But now, amen, how do we do? Some 30, some odd years, almost 40, almost 30, something, 30, up in the 30s. Amen. She's been in my presence. Amen. She's been in my ministry. Why? Because God had this already preordained. But this was this woman was a crackhead. This woman, my God, ain't ready to smoke no dope than an old lie. And sometimes she drove her the getaway car when they, when they robbed stuff. She was the getaway driver. Talk to me, somebody. She was the one sitting up on the stand with a pull off when they, came, when they got to the car. But guess what? Amen. God had a plan. Now she's another driver. She drives the word of God. And you remember at the, at the, at the, at the, at the appreciation, at, 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 my, at my birthday uh, celebration, she drove the way and she brought it home. She's still driving, Trent. She drove the way. Come on, somebody. People like what she that night. People got free that night. People got the living that night. And how in the world can you do something like that and let the devil come back and take what you get? I rebuke that spirit. I cast that spirit off you right now. Amen. Hallelujah. When you walk in the spirit, God wants you to keep walking in the spirit. And the devil don't lie. And you are who God called you to be. And everything in the hell, Lord. That's why they're doing everything in your power. And they're power. And they're destroying you. But I serve those upon that spirit. Listen to me. I know what you're trying to do. 
to the approach to one another. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just talking. Thank you. This is sometimes you have to just tell me. Thank you, Jesus. 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 She just wanted people to love her. She, she loved it. But she wanted everybody to love her. She did. She was a good woman. Amen. But guess what? 
I told him, I said, God did tell you to try to get people to love you. Amen. But God told me to love people. Amen. Tell me why. But guess what? I kept getting tired. Amen. I kept Amen. hitting it. Finally got in her. Amen. I said, now God put a love in you. Amen. Then you go do something with it. Mm -hmm. Sister Dougal never missed a Sunday morning. Amen. From going to the jailhouse. Amen. Before she made it to the church, she always went. Amen. That's right, she always went to, to the jailhouse before Amen. she went. She knows the God word in the morning. Talk to each other. She knows the word of God. Amen. And when she wanted to stand in there, but I had to push her out. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. I didn't cut no clothes with her. I gave it to a wrong stop buck naked. Amen. Come on, somebody. She had to go. Because I needed somebody to stand with me. In amen. Fact. Amen. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. What I'm saying to you today, amen. She grew. Amen. And she grew quicker than her. Thank you, Lord. She went without an even go. She called her with Amen. She would go places. Thank you, Lord. I'm somewhere there, she amen. in a hospital or somewhere. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Talk to me, somebody. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Don't let your belly become your God. Amen. Amen. Don't let your belly become your God. Amen. Get back to doing what God called you to do. Amen. Get back to doing what you used to do. Come on, y'all. Get back to doing what you used to do. Huh? The ministry that you had. Get back to doing what you used to do. Get back to ministering the way you used to minister. Amen. Well, how can you minister? Just minister. Mm -hmm. But if your love ain't right, mm -hmm. your words ain't gonna be right. right. You gotta get your love right. Amen. You can do what you want to do out there. But charity begins at home. Amen. And you spread the ball. You can talk about the power of this and the power of that. If you, if, if you can't love at home, on. then something wrong, church. Amen. But if we get better, get it together. Huh? So the Bible should have it's my living in vain. Mm -hmm. It's my living in vain. Don't live for God and to be in vain. Amen. It's time for us to get out of that nest, book. Amen. It's time for us to get out of that God wants us to go forth with his word. Those was on the test list. Come on. If you never pass a test, you never ever Go to the next place. Amen. You'll never ever Amen. pass a test. Amen. You'll be shut right where you're at. Amen. You got to pass that test. Come on, somebody. Amen. That you can grow that body. Amen. God wants to see growth. Yes. God wants you to grow into the see that's why I yes. quoted earlier into the full statue yes. of the faith of God. Yes. See, that's the faith that we got to grow to. Until we're all in them. Yes. Until the faith. Until that faith yes. of God. Yes. Meaning that that time, you don't need nobody to teach you nothing. For what you need is going to be given to you at that moment. Yes. Every last one, we don't be no big eyes, we don't be no big little you. Everybody will speak the word of God because everybody will be needed. Yes. Yes. And the Bible says, every eye, and all right, you're going to take this, it's going to see you. Yes. Meaning, amen, you're going to be overtaken. They've been overtaken and they've been overtaken. And everybody you look, you will see God. Amen. Everybody will see Thank you, Lord. That sounds crazy, don't Thank it? Thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody. That's a spiritual thing. Amen. Amen. You, you, you are the tabernacle of God. Yeah. You're the building yeah. of God. Yes, sir. Amen. The song that the builders rejected. Yeah. It became the head of the corner. And we had looked at the lives on the inside of you. He made us a board in, 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 inside of this right here. And turn to God, he operates from the from your temple. From the temple of your right here is your, right here is your temple. And God operates from the temple. You are the temple of God. And when God amen go to operate from the temple and he speaks in and through the mouth. Amen. The head from it from here up is, is nothing but spirit. And from here down, amen, your eyes, nose, and but guess what now? The eyes got a certain way they look now. They don't have lust in their eyes. Amen. You will see, amen, the word that be spoken now because, amen, he's in control of the temple. Now, amen, your, 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 your eyes, your nose, your ears, your feelings, all that stuff going to change. Amen. Now you don't have lust for this about you the world. You just got love. And when you get that love, the floor, like it's supposed to flow, amen, because of what's going on up here, 
if it, everything down here gonna get right. Talk to me, somebody. That means your legs, if they go, they got to get right. I mean, I mean, if your eyes, they got to get right. Talk to me, somebody. I'm, I'm sick and tired of hearing folks talk about, I can't hardly hear. Let me tell you something to me, God. You can hear what you want to hear. Amen. Because God knows all things. And when we slip on this and get real with God, then He knows all things. So you need nobody to tell you anything. Amen. The Spirit is on the inside of you. will reveal to you what you need, what you need to do. Amen. God will talk to you. God will speak to you. He'll tell you why to go, when to go, what to say, even when to get there. You already know once you walk up on the yard. Amen. God will put that word in your mouth. And once that word gets in your mouth, every demon in hell is going to know that God is there. Amen. People looking at you, but the devil, see God. Somebody say that. You know even how to do it. has nothing to do with Brother Brazil Lane and Mrs. Duran. Somebody say that. Hallelujah. Then he tucks his tail and he moves away from the premises. Oh, you saw it. So the man, speaking, saw him do great things. Say the He knows. Are oh, you here to tell him before we die? If you're gonna catch me out, somebody's gonna take her swine. He knew. He knew who he was. He called him like a uh, last Sunday. Are you here? He knew who you was. Huh? Are uh, you here to tell me before my time? He knew that he was gonna be tormented, but are you here to torment me before my time? Maybe if you got know you, if you're gonna catch me out, maybe suffer me to go take her swine. God said, God told me they want Go, go on and get out of here. Go on there. That's where you want to go. Go on to the herd of swine. He knew that the herd of swine had no sense to be in. Oh, Jesus knew that the herd of swine had no sense than any human being had. So I don't say that. Yes, I got to say it. Because we live with them demons. How do we live with them demons? How do we want to be dead? The Bible says went on down and went on down until the sin drowned himself. That, mean, that don't mean that the demons drowned the demon and it's kind of out of them with somebody else. But I want you to know they said you ain't living in us. And I'd rather be dead than to carry on. But we'll walk around every day with these demons. We'll walk around every day with these ungodly spirits. We'll walk around every day about what you know for yourself. Amen. As a spirit ungodly, it's all about you. Amen. You got nothing good to say about nobody. Amen. This is the spirit of the devil. But you're about to slide. They, they made up their mind. Amen. No. Uh-uh. No, no sooner I get to the water now, now I'm getting up out of here. Come on, somebody. I don't know if I'm going to be with the Lord or not. If no one's there, ain't going to be real living me. Are you with me? The river swans went on down and drowned himself. But we went around all our life. Come on. You know when that, that attitude went upon you? Huh? <laughs> Words hurt. Words hurt. I ain't been everything I need to be. I try my best to be careful with words. Come on. Words hurt. Words hurt. People have shed a lot of tears over words. <laughs> People have heard it. Although you might be glad to hear this. But it ain't be no good. Because the tears that drop from their eyes. And we're causing them to drop. Pay back time. My God. My God. She called them us all. Amen. My God. Get out of your comfort zone. God will make things uncomfortable for you. You let things come to begin to be so uncomfortable that you mean you don't want to be there no more. That's how I'm that. Come on. Sometimes God has to do that in order for you to move on. It takes God to do that for you. For your eyes to come open. Are you just doing it? Turn to God and tell you something. He said, if you only knew, it's just in this dying day, the things which belongs to your peace. That why did he say, place belong to your peace? People have been without peace for a long time. I come to bring peace to you. 
all of that that your forefathers prophesied to you is here now. Thank you, Lord. I'm the peace giver. Yes, Lord. I'm the great I am. I am the king of kings. I'm the Lord of Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm the great peace. What did he say in Psalms? What did he say in Isaiah 61? So it's 30. He said, For the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he have anointed me. Because he have anointed me. To preach good tidings. To preach, listen to this good tidings. Unto the meek. Unto the meek. He have sent me. He have sent me. To bind up. To bind up. The broken heart. The broken heart. That's what he's doing. Yep. To proclaim liberty. To proclaim liberty. To the captive. To the captive. Yes. And the opening. And the opening. Of the prison. Of the prison. Yes. To them that are bound. To them that are bound. To proclaim. To proclaim. The acceptable year, year of the Lord, of the Lord, and the day of vengeance, and the day of vengeance of our God, of our God, to comfort, to conquer, comfort, to comfort all that mourn, all to comfort all, all that mourn, that mourn, to appoint, to appoint unto them, unto them that mourn in Zion, that mourn in Zion, to give unto them, to give unto them beauty for ashes. ashes. The oil of joy, the oil of joy for, mourning. for mourning. The garment of praise, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaven. The spirit of heaven. That they might be called. That they might be called trees of righteousness. Trees of righteousness. Then he said, he said, my peace I give you. My peace I leave with you. I don't get peace. If the world be peace, let not your heart be troubled. See, God come to give us peace in the midst of what we have. Talk to me, somebody. And I know when you hear about God giving peace, all you can think about is God giving peace from heaven. God will use you to bring peace. God will use me to bring peace. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody can be down so bad. And guess what? You can come to them with a word. Amen. And when next thing you know, peace Amen. will be there. That's right. God, so I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Yes. My peace I give you, my peace I leave with you. Amen. Now let the world get peace. And let your heart be trouble. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just believe that it's time for us. Amen. That's why things are uncomfortable for you right now. That's why things, amen. You're looking at it the wrong way. You're looking at it in a, in a common way, in a natural way. Look at this thing in a spiritual way. Take your eyes off of where you look in the natural. And look at it in the spirit. You'll find, true God, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That it ain't nothing like what you're doing with your eyes. Allow me to see. Are you listen to me. It's completely different. The rock, the stone, was Jesus. The rock that he told Peter that he was going to build his church upon was Jesus. Are you listen to me? Huh? The word which was in the beginning, it was Jesus. Are y'all with me? Yes, Lord. Now that word that was with Jesus is in us yes, and it's Lord. still Jesus. Yes. And Jesus is ready to do everything yes. that he said he was going to do. Yes, Are you listening to me? Yes. Through you. Lord. It's time for you to devote your time and your life completely yes. over to him. Yes, Lord. Don't let time run out. Yes, Don't be pushed out of the net. And you ain't got nowhere to land. Yes. And you ain't got nowhere to fly. When you get out of that net, you need to know how to fly. Come on. Yeah. Now you go help him two or three times. But a lot of little baby eagles didn't make it. Because you should be fine now. I made things uncomfortable for you. I'm getting you ready for your next, your next task. I'm getting you ready for your, the next level. You got to move away from that out here. I got you up here. Now I want you to go out there. So God get you ready for what's to come later. Mm -hmm. Talk to me somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had no idea that I would be who I am today. I had no idea that God had a plan for me. I had no idea that 
Amen. God, Amen, was going to place him, himself in me. I had no idea to understand that God lives in man. I understand that's why we have to be careful what we do, what we say. Because God is in there anyway. But God lives in us. He'll lay down there, Sister Lord. Josh. He'll lay down there. And then when you get tired of doing it your way, hey, he just stop. Uh, okay, I have it now. Why do we have to wait so long before we let God have it? Why do we got to wait so long? And I'd like to say this to you. All of y'all this year. I am who I am. And I know that I can get a prayer through. But I have nothing to do. You don't have to pay me for what I do. If you listen to me. You give an offering if you so desire, that's fine. But what I do for God, I do it for God. I got one on that second. Amen. You have to pay them. You got to pay me not one quarter. But if you got money in your pocket, you want to be a blessing to the ministry. That's fine. But I'm not, I'm not a superstar. I'm not one of them guys that can, can make things happen just because I want it to happen. But, Squeezing that mojo. No, sir. It happened because when I was speaking, when I said out of my mouth, it's got to come to pass. You listen to me. So don't mix me up with that. A man, I'll never forget it. I saw him the day before I prayed for him, but still, he was at the grocery store. The stomachs were so big and he was in that car, he was one of us. We just said he was out there and it was too hot for that man. I got out of the car. I said, Are you all right? I'm all right. I'm just waiting on my wife to come out. I just prayed for him. He said, Look at that. Is for him. So I'm fine. I'm fine. Didn't want to have nothing to do with me because he didn't know who I was. He didn't want me to even be there talking to him. But the very next day, somebody already told him about me. Not knowing that who they told him about was right there in his, in his face. When I got home off work the next day, he was sitting on my mama's front porch. Same old man. And I just began to minister to him. I just remember yesterday, he was in that parking lot. I said, no, he was in that car. I had to burn up. Oh, so that was you? Yeah, that was me. Guess what? I begin to preach to you today. Right on my mama's front porch. I will never forget it. Lean, I don't know where you was. I don't know where you were working, going to the chicken farm. I don't know where you were, but you went down. That mother was sitting right there. Mama was sitting right there. I will never forget it. I lay hands on that man in the name of Jesus. I preached so hard. Power God hit that man in the name of Jesus. And boy, he come up out of that chair. And as he come up out of that chair, like somebody cut him open and all that stuff that was in his stomach had him all bloated. His pants fell around his ankles. That I happened more than one time. It happened in Florida when me and Tab was about it. She told you about it. But this time, he dropped down and he had some wrong little boxes on. And boy, he tried to reach down and get him in the world about this. We're going to praise God. God heal that man right here in my power. But I don't belong through how a cold people getting healed and delivered out through there. Mother talk, y'all remember. We talked about her. She done got delivered by God confound to the bed never to get up again, to walk again. God got that woman up and my God healed that woman, delivered that woman. That woman was a part of my ministry. First time she ever cooked a meal, she cooked it for me. I walked through the grocery store. I won't forget what I'm saying that for a reason. See, God knows all things. God knows all things that what I'm saying to you. I mean, God already had things already pre-planned. God knew, amen, that that miracle was going to come. And when he got, when I got through ministering to them, he rested in his pocket. His wife did. And she grabbed out about five hundred dollars. She gave it to me. And I rebuked her to the heart. I rebuked her so hard that she gave it in the right way. It would have been fine. But she gave it to me because that's all they ever did from place to place to 
就就就少提醒这个，我去看过了，就是你到 ，Amen， 阿拉伯的，你 take the money， you can't accept what Jesus let the money pass with you， you give you give it to me to help me go further further with my ministry， but give to me because you think I I done got some off you and I got it another way， oh man， no shot， so my church said I'm saying it for a reason， don't mistake me。I'm going to call me that. I am going to leave the apostle. The dream got to call me, but nothing but brother Lee. Call me Pusha if you want to. It don't bother me. I know who I am. I know who I am. And I speak the way. You think it's going to come to pass. One way or the other. And that's in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm not here. I haven't been pastoring. Amen. For 30 some long, 40 years. Amen for nothing. Amen. Amen, church. God, they came through with much, with, with, with much labor and with, with, with a lot of sorrow. You listen to me. With a lot, a lot of sorrow. A lot of sorrow. But guess what? It was for my growth. And I got it. 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 Jesus, I can't tell you nothing except Jesus tell it to you. You listen to me. Not one of your superstars. And that's God help you. But it's time for us to get out of the nest. And it's time for us to fly. Amen. Amen. God don't want you to fly down. He wants you to fly up. He wants you to fly down. You fly down and get to pray. But God don't want you down. But he's going to live down now. He's going to live to the top of the Lord. He's going to go down and get to pray. Many of the coat ties, you need to go loosen that coat. Mm -hmm. But even fly down there, boy, you don't need to go down there and, and go over there and you'll find a tie over there. Talk to me, somebody. Right. If any man, if you bring it to me, but if any man asks you to go and tell the Lord, I need him to keep walking. We got eager to go down and get your prey. Not to eat your prey up, but to eat me to, to bring your prey with you. Right. Talk to me, somebody. Right. Is that right? Yes. Amen. Amen. Go down there and, and, and deliver, bring him out. You know, not to, not to praise or something. You go down and you get it scooped up to come back. And, but we, we, we're going down. As an evil, you can go down and get his food. Yeah. We're going down to get soul. Yeah. We drop down and get soul. We reach down and grab them soul. And we come back up with them soul. And this is the last piece of my deal. I had a vision. And I was, uh, <coughs> I had to wait this night. And it was strange, big, long vision. But I'm talking about a few minutes to tell it. But. It was, it was, I got hung up and I couldn't get out of it. And I saw in the vision the church was completely packed full. And the preacher that was in the pulpit was, was you know, just not, not big, 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 but you know, in the spirit, you know, no, it was a spirit. It was a demon. It was a, a, a in other words, it was giving the people, it was giving the people money. Sucking them dry. And they, this preacher was standing there with a big old smile on his face. With a little smile on her face. I put it that way. And uh, and, and uh, I looked through the window of the door. I was on stellar report and a little woman was there. And I looked, and that church was packed, packed full. Thank you, Jesus. You got to go so you know. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. So anyway, I looked out the window. And when I looked out the window, Looked in the window, I saw all those people sitting there. And they were sitting there, Sister Angie. They were just sitting there. They were suffering from malnutrition. These on this side was more puny than these on this side, but everybody was puny. They were suffering from malnutrition. Amen. The ministry was just full, you know, huge. And I saw the Lord. He allowed that wall to fall down. The whole wall fell. And everybody's head turned towards that wall. And as they turned towards that wall, they got up to get out of there. And as they was getting up to run, these on this side were a little weak and they began to fall. And they were, the one on this side was just walking over, trapping over. Because they wanted out. They hit that wall and got up out of there. And 
and the movement in the vision, amen, I ran to my blood to me from there. I put on the church roll my step and I looked across the field and I saw him coming across the field and they were jumping the ditches. I was running to the church. They were jumping the ditches and they were running while they was coming, coming, coming. And I ran and I saw him coming. I ran back in and I jumped on my knees and to pray. And the Lord said to me, you don't have time to pray. They're here. I remember grabbed my Bible and I went to try to read a little bit. And the Lord said, you don't have time to read. They are here. Are you listening to me? We got to be ready. Because they, they're here. Amen. They're here, church. Yes, we got to be ready. When God showed me that, I walked in and I'm What was in me came up out of me. But those people came, boy, they ran from one place to another place to get delivered. See, people, they're suffering from malnutrition. I used to all those people that was out there in, in Elijah's in Elijah's days. Are you listening to me? When you remember the church to the right, he was on the same place. But guess what? Everybody else was in a bad place. They was dying for salvation. But he was in the same place. Then God sometime I'll, I'll get I'll get you out of your comfort zone and get you back on your knees. And I believe that's what we're at right now, Sister Jack. It's time for us to get back on our knees and, and pray like we never prayed. Yes, it's time for us to get rid of everything and everything that would hinder you from doing what God called you to do. Thank you, Lord. Listen to me. Amen. Amen. You got power over the spirit that's upon your children. Amen. You got power over the spirit that's upon your husband. You got power over the spirit that's upon your wife. You got power over all that in the spirit that's fighting you. You got power over that. You got to use your power. You got to use your power. You got to use your power. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I love you all. I love you too. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I tell you, it's okay. You better know it's okay. All right. You walk by sight, you don't walk by sight. I walk by faith. I tell you, it is well. Yes, You mean to say it is well. 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 Let the devil put your mind and make you feel like it ain't gonna work. Because it's gonna look right. If you don't walk by sight, it don't look right to you. Look like you're not doing work. Look like she's got one good food back in the back bedroom. Y'all ain't heard Brother Nate's testimony? That my God, when, when, when they knocked on the door and told him about the Lord, so the drugs got what? The drugs they preached after they left that door. But guess what? He's still saved. God came back and still got him. He said, Pastor, we're out there getting what's going to be. He would say, He's going to defeat you. He's he not going to defeat you. There's nobody in your family. See something good coming out of it. Yes, Lord. Yeah. You don't want to be the because you said it. Yeah. He is somebody. She is somebody. Yeah. And listen to me. Yeah. Thank you. I love y'all. We're going to get ready to meet the house. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 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 Do that right now. You know, man, leave the offering. Leave the offering with equipment. The offering, y'all need the offering. <laughs>
part of the service as well. Amen. Cash out, dollar sign, brother Lane. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I am. The righteous of God. The righteous of God. I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior. I'm not a warrior. I'm not a warrior. I am saved. I'm saved. And I'm not lost. I'm not lost. I am victorious. I am victorious. In every area. In every area. Of my life. Of my life. I am a worshiper. I'm a worshiper. And giving. And giving. Is a part of my worship. I am a soul. I'm 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 a soul